Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Mika pendant. It's a 10 light pendant, linear pendant, and it is the 131098, named after the designer's daughter. So there you go. Let's get into the size of the fixture itself, independent of what it's hanging from. This is going to be coming in at 28.3 inches tall, bottom of fixture to top of fixture. Again, before we get to here, and then the depth is 9.7, width is 53.6, so it's a pretty good size fixture. Overall height, now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling, including all the parts. It's going to give you a really nice range. You're going to be able to start off at 30 inches, 30.5 actually, and go all the way to 75.5, which is pretty long. Again, from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling. If you need yours to be longer than 75 inches, drop me a quick email, sales at Handmade in Vermont. Tell me what you need, and I can send that to customs. We do custom lengths all the time. It's not a big deal. Coming in at 42 pounds, you're going to want to talk to your installer about that. It's going to be hanging from a junction box, but there are going to be other places in that canopy that's going to attach to your ceiling, and a way to show you that is to look at the installation's instructions right now. So. If you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen, midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list, all the things you're going to get. It's going to show you you're going to be getting, uh, let's see, uh, 50, wow, 15 pieces of the 12 inch, 5 pieces of the 6, and 3 pieces of the 5, which is quite a bit. But there are multiple lights on this, so there you go. Um, it's also going to show you a nice detailed drawings of the canopy. The canopy is up on the ceiling. Like I said before, it goes over your junction box. That's 5 inches by 47 inches. It's about yay deep. And the nice thing about these install instructions, there are going to be some technical drawings that show you the inside of the canopy, and it's going to be showing you how it attaches to your ceiling and how it incorporates a 4-inch junction box. So take advantage of that if you can. So why don't we talk about um, how the system of rods from Hubbardton Forge works. So they have basically designed this really wonderful system where you're going to be getting what are called, um, well, here are the rods. You're going to be getting 3-inch rods, 12-inch rods, 6-inch rods, and then the pieces in between. They basically have threading on both ends, and they just screw right into the end because the pipes themselves are actually threaded on the inside. So there you go. So when you're going to be putting this together, you're going to notice that in your um, installations instructions, the best thing to do would probably be to put down a big blanket or something and lay it on like a table <clears throat> and then kind of figure out which pipes you need to get to your overall height. And remember, on that page is going to be a chart. And over on that on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, on our site, there's also going to be that same chart kind of over there. It's going to show you which pipes you use to get to which overall height, just which combos you use. So once you figure that out, you kind of lay everything out, and then you're going to take the wires and you're just going to kind of put them through the little parts one by one. So you're going to go through a connector, through a pipe, through a connector, through a pipe, and eventually you're going to end up um, putting them out of the canopy up on the top and then putting them all together like that. And look how, look how nice this is. So I used to work in the jewelry industry in Rhode Island, and where, where America's jewelry used to be made a long time ago. Anyway, um, so I know really beautiful machine work, and these are really beautifully done. It's so tight that you can barely see the seam on there. It's just a nice, clean look. They're going to look like solid rods going up. So, um, like I said before, you're going to get quite a few of these. Um, at the top of those rods is going to be a knuckle, and the knuckle is going to allow this to bend in one direction, which means it's slope ceiling adaptable one way. And I'd like to explain that to you, and the best way to do it is if you guys are working with a slope ceiling, drop me a quick email or a phone call in um, sales at handmaidenvermont.com or 802-446-2400. <clears throat> and we can go over how this is going to work on a slope. Very, very important. There's so also a couple other things about this. So there's a matching uh, regular fixture, a, a singular fixture, and that's going to be the 181070. If you're going to be putting those maybe over your uh, kitchen island, that could be kind of cool. And the sconce that matches this as well is the 21060. Okay, let's kind of move on to a couple other things. <clears throat> Very important to talk about. Um, well, before we go into this idea, why don't we talk about the glass on this? Hubbards and Ford sources their glass from all over the place, all over the world. A lot of it's actually done in the United States, and a lot of it's actually done in Vermont. This specific piece of glass is really, really special. 
<clears throat> it's handmade Italian glass. I think Ari, the guy who designed this, probably had stumbled on this when he was touring Italy and just thought, you know what, this is a great piece of glass. I think we can connect with those guys and probably design a fixture around it because it's just so beautiful. So that's that's where that glass comes from. And so and it's a frosted piece, so um, you won't be able to really see this from the sides when you're looking at it, the socket setup. And now that takes us to the socket setup. So it's going to be using type B candelabra sockets, and these are also called E12s. And it's really just a little screw-in guy there. If you want to use uh, incandescent bulbs, and that's what these two are, our old-fashioned incandescent, you've got 10 of these, don't forget. You can go up to 60 watts in each of these, 600 watts of light. I don't think anyone needs to go that high. But you can also do other things, too. You can get these in, like, 25 watts or 20 watts if you want to stay with incandescent. But if you want to go LED, you can do that too. So there's lots of different LEDs that you can use in this. And there's actually um, the globy ones here that are also going to be frosted like this in LED. But there's all kinds of things out there for you to play with. There's flame tip. There's torpedo. There's uh, what's called a G16. And that's a G16. When you go into LED, because the bottom part is just a little bigger. So see the difference there? So this is a G16.5, this is a G16, but they basically do the same thing at the end of the day. And I can find this up to a 60 watt equivalent, this is an LED, just like I can find this up to a 60 watt equivalent. But remember, you've got, you've got 10 of these lights, so you, know, you don't have to go too crazy. Uh, 40, watts in con uh, 40 watt equivalent is probably where I would go with this, and I think the marketplace that's out there has more 40 watt equivalent LED bulbs like this than uh, 60 watt equivalents, but they're easy to find. I find them on uh, Amazon, I find them in my hardware store. This is a uh, 4 watt, 40 watt equivalent soft white bulb that I got at my local hardware store here in Vermont, just up the street, so it was very easy to find. The other thing, they're going to be offering these to you in all kinds of different ways. So this one says soft white on it. Um, also, it's called warm white, and that's going to be kind of the middle where we talk about that we like our light here in our showroom, but these are going to be offered to you in something else too. 2700 Kelvin, that's going to be super, super yellow. Then way on the other side of that, they're going to be offering these to you in what's called daylight, which is not a warm light, though you think it should be. That's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin on that Kelvin scale. That's going to be like a blue hospital, a bluish white hospital light or like an overcast day. And uh, some people like it. It's just not something that, I, that I'm loving. But um, this is the kind of light we like. This is that 3,000 Kelvin warm white, and it mimics an incandescent bulb, so that's what we're really into here. So that kind of wraps that part of it up. But, you know, the other thing about this is, again, since you've got 10 lights, you really want to focus on the fact that it says dimmable, and it says dimmable right there. So when you're out online or you are in a hardware store looking at these bulbs, <clears throat> Zero in on the, uh, the color of the light, so 3000 Kelvin if that's where you want to go, and then just make sure it's dimmable. Tell your installer you're using a dimmable LED light so they put the correct dimmer on the wall for you. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to 
answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay. That's it, rush program, let's talk about that. So rush program, Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks. It's, it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.